All right, guys, rolling here on uh, Wednesday night, a lot of breaking news today. This is kind of a, a video that, or this is kind of news that happened earlier in the day, but it's very newsworthy for many reasons. So the Purdue job is now open as Jeff Brom has accepted the Louisville job. And of course, Jeff Brom was a legend at Louisville. Believe he might have coached there as well. I'm going to pull up the dossier. But Jeff Brom's done a phenomenal job with Aiden O'Connell. Uh, of course, David Bell uh, was a tremendous receiver under Jeff Brom. And I've come to enjoy the aggressiveness that Jeff Brom coaches the game on the offensive side of the ball to spray it out, the air it out approach with Elijah Sindelar um, and a lot of different quarterbacks there uh, at, at Purdue University. Um, so, I mean, that offense freaking rolls um, at Purdue. And they've blown out Ohio State at home, and they put up big offense. And now in Louisville, in the ACC, which is such an easier league than, than even the Big – I guess I could say the Big Ten West is easy, but I believe that the ACC is the worst conference in the country. The, the, I think that they can light up defenses in the ACC. They can light up like North Carolina's defense, uh, even Virginia Tech – um, and Purdue also played in the Big Ten, so Jeff Brom was up against really stingy defenses, and he still survived and thrived. In, in a conference where Scott Frost's go to die and like your, your up-tempo offenses don't really work, that's why the Phil Longo thing is so weird and different at, at Madison, Wisconsin. But Jeff Brom going to Louisville, I'm pumped about it. I'm excited. Jeff Brom is a Louisville guy, born in Louisville, went to Trinity in Louisville. Okay, at Louisville. So he was 2002 back to Louisville. 2003 to 2006 quarterback coach Louisville. Head coach, passing game coordinator, and then the assistant head coach. I believe his son also played at Louisville. So it's interesting right now. Like Will Stein was a Louisville guy, and now Will Stein went out to Oregon. So, man, that's a shame for Will Stein because Will Stein could have been the OC, I guess, at Louisville. And it's going to be interesting now to see who Jeff Brom decides to take with him from Purdue to Louisville. So, essentially, Jeff Brom played in the league. And then, of course, he played in the... What was it? The XFL. He played, he played that... You remember that famous clip? Like, I ain't got a concussion. I'm all good. So... He was a baseball player. He has kids that are very, very successful. But Jeff Brom in college, uh, man, he was a stud. Uh, Howard Schnellenberger, 10-1. and one. So I'm reading about Jeff Brom. Actually got injured a whole bunch of times during his career. Um, got it together later in his career. But this is home, you know, Kentucky, Louisville is home for Jeff Brom. So, like, and, and I think that that his experiences have been great. And he's an intense head coach, but I think that the players really like him, that they really rally for him, okay? So, basically, then he was at Western Kentucky. He had the dream seasons there in Bowling Green. So, of course, back to Kentucky and then Purdue. Seven and six, six and seven, nine and four, eight and four. Or eight and five, so thirty six and thirty four at a very tough place uh, to win, uh, and that being in West Lafayette, a tough place to recruit. You're now at Louisville. You now have tons of money. I mean, Kenny Payne, that basketball program, they're gonna get it together. They, they're put, they're pumping in tons of money. Scott Satterfield, the recruiting class that he got there was phenomenal. So Jeff Brom is all about the NIL. I believe. I believe he's all about what Louisville is going towards, which is Louisville has a lot of money. It has a lot of deep pockets, and it's going to invest in football. It is going to invest in football to try to get back to the Bobby Petrino, the Lamar Jackson days of Louisville Cardinal football. And I think that a lot of people should be really excited about this hire because Scott Satterfield led him high, le le left them high and dry to go to Cincinnati, which is less pressure, more stable, less of the transfer portal, less of the NIL kind of recruiting. So Satterfield was uncomfortable in that in, in NIL. That is just my honest opinion. I haven't spoken to people on that, but I believe that Satterfield was uncomfortable 
all right, dealing with the expectations of Louisville and all of the um, uh, and all of the NIL and the and the expectations of getting an amazing class. But I believe Jeff Brom, he's been at Purdue, so he's recruited the three star guys, the four star guys. He's recruited that that type of player and has really developed them. And he's taken Purdue. They just played in the Big Ten championship. He's taken Purdue going nine and four. He's taken Purdue to the highest that I believe that he could take Purdue. All right? He has a good aggressive defensive coordinator in Holt. Um, that was there a couple of years. Uh, he, they play an aggressive style. When you play Purdue, you're going to get thrown on. Um, and, and, and Jeff Brom's going to go for the jugular, and I love that offense. It has a ton of motions, tons of wheels, um, wheel routes. It's very creative. It is quarterback friendly. It's not just like air raid. We're going to chuck it deep. It's a lot of finding completions. You look at Charlie Jones, you look at David Bell. Um, you look at, uh, oh, the, um, Rondell Moore phenomenal football player that was at Arizona. You add that offense to Louisville Cardinal football and you start to create you start to create what Lamar Jackson and what some of the great teams at Louisville have done, uh, even in Big East play going back to the 2010s. So you start to rediscover the brilliance that is Louisville. You can even start to beat Kentucky in football again, which was always, which was considered a layup for many, many years. But but uh, Mark Soups has really done a nice job at Kentucky. So a lot of people will think it's a little lateral. I did hear a good friend of mine who's very informed say this about Jeff Brom, say it's kind of a lateral move. They're both in the Midwest, and also the Big Ten is a monster. Well, guess what? Louisville's going to be a monster. Um, Louisville and Kentucky. Um, I think Louisville is very good academics. It's a very good school. And also the basketball is going to get ramped up. They're really investing a lot of money in the new football facilities and the new facilities. And you have so much more money. And the city of Louisville, West Lafayette is a nice place. And, and Purdue is a tremendous school. Okay. It's a really good school, specifically in engineering. But Louisville, the city, that's home. That is a metropolis. That is a very happening and growing city. Um, West Lafayette is growing as well, but Louisville's a lot bigger, okay? It's easier to get recruits to go there. It's easier to get stars there, and they have the money there. So this was clearly the move. It was a home run move, a blessing that Scott Satterfield ended up leaving for Cincinnati, and Jeff Brom ended up coming home. It worked out perfectly for both parties. This fit is perfect. He gets to go home. Um, I know we said the same about Scott Frost, but Kenny Dillingham gets to go home um, and uh, and Jeff Brom, lifer at Louisville, successful, successful coach in the Big Ten. I like this hire more. I, you got Scott Satterfield, who was, a, who was an Appalachian State coach to take over for Bobby Petrino and the... Um, and just a brutal last year. Petrino was awesome at Louisville, but then, you know, the bottom falls out eventually. Um, but this is fun. Jeffrey Brom, Jeff Brom, Louisville. 